So now that we've established all the units that we can interconvert between, uh, we can do an example problem uh, with these. So this problem says the concentrated nitric acid is 86% nitric acid by mass. What is the molarity and molality of concentrated nitric acid? And the density of nitric acid is 1.425 grams per milliliter. So if we look at mass percent, which is what we're given, our mass percent is 86% nitric acid by mass. So that means that we're going to have 86 grams of nitric acid, which is HNO3, per 100 grams of solution. So if we look at this particular solution, we know that there's 86 grams per 100 grams. So this 100 grams of solution is going to be 86 grams of HNO3 plus 14 grams of water. Okay. So if we assume a 100 gram solution, and I would suggest that you always assume 100 grams of a solution for percents, it just makes everything much easier. That means we're going to have 86 grams of HNO3, which we need to convert over to moles because we need to determine our molarity. One mole of HNO3, if we look up on the periodic table, is 63.02 grams, which gives us 1.365 moles of HNO3. If we have a 100 gram solution, we can use the density to figure out what this volume is going to be. We have 1.425 grams per milliliter, and since molarity is in moles per liter, we need to say that we have 1,000 milliliters in one liter. This gives us 0 0.07. 0.042 liters. So remember our molarity unit is going to be moles of HNO3 per liters of solution. We have 1.365 moles of HNO3 divided by 0 0.07042 liters this is going to give us a concentration of 19.4 molar. So if we go back through here, okay, molarity is moles per liter, so we're given a mass percent. We need to assume a 100 gram solution because we need moles of HNO3 per liter of solution. So we go through here, we determine the moles, and then we also determine the volume of that particular solution, then divide by them to get the molarity. Now, the molality is going to be equal to moles of the solute, which would be HNO3, divided by the kilograms of the solvent, which in this case is water. Okay, so the moles of the HNO3 we've already determined to be 1.365 moles divided by our kilograms of our solvent. And up here at the beginning when I did the mass percent we said there are 14 grams of water. If we convert that, that means we have 0 0.014 kilograms. So we can plug that value in to be 0 0.0140 kilograms of water. So that gives us a value of 97.5 molal for the molality. And remember in one of the previous videos I had said that the, at very, very low concentrations, the molarity and the molality will be very, very similar. 
But here we have concentrated nitric acid. And when we have concentrated acids, these are practically some of the highest concentrations that we can achieve in solution. So as you can see, at very, very high concentrations, the molarity and the molality can be very, very different.